So once you get the chance to do this, and it's a long off season, and I'm sure that you will take this on at some point, I'm going to be interested to hear what you have to say when you go back and watch some Marshall defense from last year. Mm -hmm. Look at it, look at their scheme, look at how they played it, and think, hmm, how similar is that to Kevin Steele's defense and what these players were asked to do last year? How much do I like what they're doing there at Marshall, which you got to like it. They finished freaking top at five in just about every category of defense last year. Uh, and, and think, and then take your knowledge of the Miami defensive personnel and try to kind of fit that into what you're watching on film for Marshall and say, yeah, I can see us doing that. Or, we may have some issues trying to pull that off with these particular players at that position. That that will be a good read for me uh, to get from you. Absolutely. Uh, I've done a little bit of that. But uh, one of the biggest things that I love that the coach said um, uh, straight up, Coach Gidry just said, that was at Marshall. You know, yeah. I have to redo it here, here at Miami. You got a level of caliber athlete, different level uh, of – of psyche also, Mark, you have guys call a spade a spade, a young man who earns a defense, uh, let's say a middle linebacker that earns an offer to Marshall and signs to Marshall. You know, maybe he had offers from San Jose state, San Diego state university of North Dakota, uh, university of South Dakota, and, and maybe another smaller school and chooses Marshall. It's different from an inside linebacker who was ranked top six in his comp in, in country who had offers from the USC and Michigan state and Ohio state and Michigan, and then chooses Miami. Okay. It's different, different caliber of player could be size, could be weight room, could be uh, aggression, could be when they hit the, they make tackle and, they, and the ball go flying more likely than not it's the size. Trust me. There's this one thing that coaches do where they like go over to the height part and click it. I've seen it. I've seen it. They click height and they do a cutoff at six foot. And then that's where they recruit from six foot and above. Okay. So you're hardworking five foot 10, 220 pounder. Who's a leader and a four year all American may not be getting that big offer, but he might get that Marshall offer. He may get that San Diego State offer. He may get the Tulane offer. And what happens when you, you're so used, Mark, to coaching those kind of young men, there could be a positive and negative to it. Because you could be so used to having a whole bunch of tryhards. Miami fans are so synonymous with this. Give me a three-star from the state of Florida over a five-star from anywhere else because I want him to have dog. I want him to be a tryhard. Because that's what Ray was and Ed Reed was and insert name of fantasy Hall of Famer here. It's different now, okay? It's different. And when you have coaches that are so used to coaching those kinds of players, they don't have to get you fired up to go to weights in the morning. They don't have to call your phone and figure out where you're at. Because you might have beat them there. You got the whole team stretching before the coaches show up. We got lifts at 530 and the whole team is in here stretching at 5 o'clock. Because we have that kind of caliber in, 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 in the psyche of the players. Where they just want it, Mark. They want it. And it isn't about who the team is that week. It isn't about, oh man, they're our rival. It's about the fact that they want to get better no matter what. And it, it can be tough to go from that mindset to a rebuild where you got some who think that way, but most and majority don't. And you have to go through the, the process of either trying to get those guys out in a nice way or try to get the other people to pull to pull up to that level. And, and, and it's crazy. Because then you got fans that'll blame a guy like Coach Steele. Oh, he doesn't know how to coach linebackers. He don't know how to coach defense. That guy sucks. No, he just <laughs> didn't have the guys that that wanted it. That would flip tables thinking about playing football that day. They couldn't even sleep the night before because they got weights. They can't wait to get weights. 
Why? Because weights transition to better players. They can't wait to get to the nutrition room because getting my body in shape means I get to be a better football player. And I get fired up thinking about this because we don't have enough of those guys. And we wonder why we're winning five and six and seven games and celebrating no-name bowl losses or making it to a bowl and hopefully we get to six and six and hopefully Tallahassee's quarterback pulls a shoestring so that we don't lose. When it used to be about, I prepared my ass off to beat yours. And if you get me, I can come to the 50-yard line and shake your hand and say, I'll see you later. Now it's like, oh, man, hey, good job, man. I appreciate Hey, I like your picture on Instagram. Nice touchdown today, buddy. <laughs> and jog to the side and, and, and jog to the locker room and get mad at a coach for getting mad at you about not caring about losing that week and liking rival players' pictures and commenting, much love, fam, great game. I don't want on the whole man. I forgot what we was talking about. <laughs> I kind of forget what we were talking about as well, but something that you said in there reminded me up. that uh, I'm in the midst of a three-part series over on the main channel where I'm posting my coaches' rankings and so I'm I'm posting the the second part. I still have to post the top twenty, but uh, I'll get uh, I'll be interested to get people's uh, responses to where I've got Mario Cristobal. So I'm going to leave that link uh, in the chat of where I in the conference uh, in, in the Power Five. In oh Power oh five. uh 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 twenty twenty two twenty two twenty two twenty two. Okay. 